I was just recently asked about the principle of shifting dullness and how it works. And just as a reminder, shifting dullness is a physical exam maneuver technique that's used to identify the presence of ascites in a patient. And it relies on the principle that fluid is going to remain kind of in the dependent areas of, uh, of, of, a, of a cavity. And so, you know, if we imagine that this is the patient's abdomen here, and this is the level of ascites present. So what do we normally do to elicit shifting dullness is we'll percuss near the top uh, of the patient's abdomen and we'll get a tympanitic note and we'll percuss laterally until we find that area of dullness where the fluid is. Of course, not all dullness in the abdomen is, is fluid. It could be organ or tumor or something else. So here's where the, the principle of shifting dullness comes into play. We'll leave our finger just where it is in this dull area. We'll ask the patient to roll or shift position our finger hasn't moved and what was just dull is now tympanitic again, demonstrating that the dullness occurred as a result of fluid, which again is going to go to the dependent area of the cavity and that's how shifting dullness works. I hope you found that explanation to be helpful. I've always thought that using kind of the half filled water bottle as a prop to demonstrate this technique has been really helpful for students.